Takumi or Liberate? What do you suggest? Let's check the differences and see which one is the best value for money. Welcome back guys, I'm Stelvio and this is Koryamone Community for Wolves Running. We talk about different running uh, gears, uh, trials, uh, uh, races uh, and um, in this video I will compare two different shoes the Takumi Senate from Adidas and the Puma Liberate Nitro. They look similar but they are in a different range of price uh, so let's check it out. But before to start, thanks to all of you who is already subscribed to the channel and contributing with the interesting comments. Uh, and for the others, please consider to subscribe, you won't miss any new video and uh, you will support the channel for free, so let's do it. An important remark, uh, I bought both pair of shoes with my money, so no one is paying me for this review and uh, yeah, so these are my thoughts. As usual, let's split the video in three different chapters, a quick comparison of the specs and the running dynamics, uh, a comparison of the house, or mid sole and, and upper, and, uh, and price, and finally the conclusions. Let's start with the specs, uh, looking at the specs, uh, absolutely no difference of weight, uh, which is quite strange uh, with such precision. We have an important difference of drop, in the Takumi Senate we have uh, uh, 6mm and uh, in the uh, Liberate instead uh, 10mm. Such difference could be a problem, especially for those one who has uh, um, uh, issues with the calves. Uh, you know, usually I like to wear shoes uh, with a drop uh, between 8-10mm, uh, which give me a little bit of breath to my calves. Anyway, in general, for long distance trainings and races, I always suggest to wear shoes with an higher drop uh, exactly for our calves. We have two different forms in the midsole, the Light Strike Pro in the Takumi and uh, the Nitro form in the uh, Liberate. The Light Strike Pro is softer, uh, let's check it out if it's even uh, bouncier, uh, more bouncier than uh, the uh, Nitro Foam after uh, checking our uh, running dynamics. And last but not least, the shape of the, and the cutouts of the midsole are different. As you can see in the Takumi we have an higher midsole, uh, uh, therefore we have uh, different cutouts, uh, uh, especially between the mid and the forefoot of the of the shoe to give uh, uh, some flexibility. Whereas in the Liberate Nitro, since it's low to the ground, uh, uh, there is no need of cutouts uh, for flexibility. So they look similar, but they are not. Uh, the feeling is different, but not that much as expected, uh, to be honest, especially during the sprints uh, um, at fast pace. Till, till the end of the video, in the conclusion, I'll tell you which one I prefer in this video. Let's check now the running dynamics. Uh, um, for both shoes, uh, I made different tests that you can see on the left hand side of the screen. I'm wondering how good the new technology of uh, plastic energy rods uh, uh, can be, um, especially in comparison with nothing in the Liberate Nitro. I'm talking about uh, these energy uh, sticks here. If you don't know what these dynamics mean, you can have a look on the uh, left hand side and there is a quick explanation. But basically, we are talking about uh, response and efficiency of the shoe uh, at different running pace. Actually, we can notice a small difference when uh, we increase the pace. The Takumi Senate is more uh, responsive and looks uh, more efficient as well, but really small differences. Uh, uh, but surprise, surprise, at average pace, uh, the midsole of the Liberate uh, is uh, less bouncier than uh, um, with a lower vertical oscillation ratio, meaning more efficient. Honestly, I expected much more uh, from the energy roads, but uh, I would say we can compare uh, them uh, as a torsion system. Something I would have loved to have in the Liberator as well. The energy rod in plastics uh, looks like a cool exhaust of a sport car, but I would say are fancy, but less rigid than the carbon ones uh, and then less effective uh, as well. The Takumi is more bouncier and therefore you are uh, jumping more vertically than proceeding forward. Uh, that's why I love uh, low stack shoes. In terms of cushioning, it was good in both, uh, despite the difference in the stack eight. So Puma, you could consider to adopt a torsion system because actually I miss it uh, a lot uh, in this shoe. Uh, it's not a deal breaker, but I feel it would fill the gap uh, I felt between the forefoot and the heel, um, something not that comfortable sometimes, especially in the turns. With that being said, I believe we are ready to step into the next chapter, so that is the comparison of the outsole, midsole and upper. I mean, we already did some of that, but anyhow. The Takumi has a thinner layer of continental rubber in almost uh, the entire outsole, which is uh, quality, I would say, uh, but too thin. Deliberate as much uh, more solid rubber uh, with a different pattern which could last longer in my opinion. The spot foam seems to be slightly more in the Takumi Senate. The rubber in the heel of the Takumi Senate um, looks uh, really thin. Unfortunately, my prediction is not good uh, for this also in terms of durability. 
such thinner layer as a kind of a sticky effect uh, on the other end, uh, under uh, the foot, in the road, uh, which uh, I didn't notice in the Liberate Mitch. Let's talk about the midsole now. We have already seen uh, uh, most of the differences, uh, more flexible in the Liberate, uh, since an notation system and uh, uh, low to the ground and no energy roads as well. The lower stockade in the Liberate will make you feel the shoe more flexible, of course, such shoe. Uh, um, with a low stockade are perfect uh, for, uh, for instance, uh, uh, training in, in the track, uh, like for instance the RC3 from Adidas. If you want to know more about these shoes, you have a different video in the channel, please check it out. In the slow pace, I just prefer the Liberate. Uh, I felt it more stable in the heel, but uh, also in the forefoot. Uh, the Dagumi in general is uh, uh, more narrow, so narrow and uh, uh, higher mean less stable. And the upper, what about the upper? First of all, the upper of the Dagumi Sen8 is 50% recyclable, uh, but both uppers are pretty breathable. The mesh in the Dagumi Sen8, especially in the forefoot, it's more breathable than the Liberate Nitro, uh, so during the summer season, uh, of course, better. Both uppers wrap really well the forefoot uh, as I like, uh, um, but I was a bit disappointed of the foot lockdown in the Dagumi Sen8, uh, especially in the collar or heel counter. It doesn't lock the uh, foot uh, well as in the Liberate Nitro, uh, which is also better padding externally, but even internally, uh, than the Takumi Sen8. The tanks are both lights and I have no preference. Both didn't annoy me at all. Both shoes don't have a single line of rings for the laces, which is quite important for those runners who have thinner feet, especially for racing shoes. That's PD better than Adios 6 in this regard. In terms of price, they are on a different uh, range of price, 20 euro for the Commission 8 and uh, Puma uh, Liberty is currently around 70 euro. So I would have appreciated a price around uh, 150 euro for the Commission 8 to be more competitive. As always, it's now time for the conclusion. We say that they have the same weight, uh, the outsole in the Takumi, it won't last longer as in the Liberate, according uh, to my prediction. The Takumi has 6 mm drops, uh, whether the Liberate has a better drop for the calves uh, of 10 mm. In terms of running dynamics, uh, there is not too much differences in terms of comfort as well. For me, uh, the Liberate uh, uh, was much uh, more stable and I prefer the lockdown of the Liberate. Does it worth to pay the extra money for the Takumi? and uh, it's energy roads? To be honest, for me, no. <laughs> I'm not a pro and such small differences uh, will not change my result. Uh, uh, I prefer to buy shoes uh, uh, at lower price. I can change it more often, so the form is always new. So the Takumi is a nice shoes, but uh, it is overpriced in my opinion, uh, maybe due to the marketing uh, of the energy roads, uh, uh, which don't seem to uh, affect too much, uh, especially the plastic ones. I would not use the Takumi for training, considering the price and the prediction about the outsole, um, but the elaborate, yes, uh, even for training. For racing, I would use both shoes, I guess, uh, till uh, 10k, maybe an half marathon. I hope, guys, this was interesting. There are uh, new upcoming models in the next month. If you don't want to miss any new video, and uh, if you want to uh, support this channel because you like this content, then I suggest to subscribe, activate the notification bell, so you will get notified every time I have to say something about the new show. So guys, this is it for today. If you like this content, please don't forget to leave a like here below. As usual, thanks for watching. Until the next time, keep running. Ciao.